evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about flux and flux linkage. So I've spoken about magnetic field strength <coughs> and magnetic field lines and what I'm going to talk about now is I'm actually going to talk about how those field lines would affect an area of an object because lines aren't in a 2D space, um, in a 1D space, they're actually in two, two three dimensions. So I'm going to talk about this idea is of flux and flux is working out how much an area would feel from a magnetic field in total, okay? So what I've got here is I've got a box here, uh, and this is uh, the flux, the lines going through it. So these are the field lines, and they are going from north to south, okay? And these are crossing through this area, so they're all hitting this idea here. And flux is basically how much this field is affecting this area here. And flux is represented... <coughs> by the letter phi here. So basically I'm trying to work out the total flux that is this little square is feeling here. So I'm going to have the magnetic field strength that is going through it and I'm going to times it by the area that this is. Okay so in, the <coughs> in this case here if this was 0.2 meters and this was 0.3 meters and the field had a field strength of one milli tesla okay my flux is going to be one times ten to the minus three times by my area which is going to be 0 0.2 times 0 0.3 because it's a square okay so here is going to be one times ten to the minus three times by 0 0.2 times by 0 0.3 and that is going to be 60 times 10 to the minus 6. Now the flux, okay, so magnetic field strength is measured in Tesla. Flux is measured in something called Weber's, okay, or WB. So that there is a Weber's, all right? So that is flux. So flux is how much the field lines are affecting an area that they are crossing through. Now, objects like a solenoid, so the magnetic field line is going through, it is affecting more than one area. It's actually affecting multiple, okay? And this is called flux linkage. This is almost taking in, into account a depth Okay, so this is a 2D, this is almost like looking at it in 3D. And this is called flux linkage. And this is relating the number of turns, so this is, imagine this is just a spring here, but imagine this is a coil of wire, the amount of turns that the field lines are going past. So the flux that one feels, and then I've got another one, another one, another one, okay? And flux linkage is related to by this formula of NBA. Oops, that's a bit of a bad A there. Let's, let's change that to N, B, A. Or, so B, A being flux, N, phi, there. And this is measured in Weber turns. Weber, because of the flux, and N for the number of turns. So let's take a wire. I have something with 100 turns and a radius of 0.1 meters. And I wanna work out the flux linkage. So this is gonna be 100. Um, let's say the field strength, by the way, is again one milli tesla times by B, which is one times 10 to the minus three times by my area. And this area is a circle. So this is gonna be 0.1, uh, so R squared times by pi. So putting that into my calculator now, 100 times 1 times 10 to the minus 3 times by 0.1 squared times by pi equals 3.14 times 10 to the minus 3 Weber turns. Okay. So this is flux and this is flux linkage. Now what I want to talk about now is this idea of flux if the lines aren't at an angle. So what about if they're not perpendicular? What about if my field lines 
are not perpendicular to the surface. Because as you see here, I've drawn a diagram, and they're going through a lovely right angle there. Okay, these ones are at an angle. And remembering that for a maximum force, using Fleming's left hand rule, the field has to be at right angles to the direction of the force. So for maximum force, that's what I've got to feel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a component. So this here, my N phi, is going to be B A N. And it's going to be, so this is the hypotenuse, because this is the field line, and I want this component here. So I want the field line in the x direction. So I've got the adjacent, I want the adjacent, and I've got the hypotenuse. So my, this is B, A, N, okay. So B, A, N, uh, um, so Bx over Ban equals cos theta. Bx is Ban cos theta. Okay, so this flux, so I won't say thing, I'll actually say phi in the x direction. Okay, might be a bit better for you. This flux in the x direction is ban cos theta. So if it is not perpendicular, my flux linkage is going to be ban cos theta. And we can use this formula later on in regards to rotating coils and generating EMF. So that is the idea of flux is the idea of field lines moving in a 2D space. Flux linkage is that idea of almost like a 3D space here, okay? And remembering, if it's not perpendicular to each other, you must take a component to see what it is. So that there is flux and flux linkage.